but we're going to go ahead and get started. Who is ready for the game show? All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and get started. Here it comes. The first question. What is the best-selling game console of all time? The answer is always three, yes. <laughs> what is the best game console of all time? If you want to answer the question, just click on your screen. It should be interactive. All right, chat. There it is. The answer to this question is the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 2 is right now the best. It should be GameCube. <laughs> it is not GameCube, even though I really enjoyed the GameCube. No, the answer it's, is the PlayStation 2 is the best selling console of all time. Let's go ahead and see how you guys did on this question. All five of you got that one correct. Congratulations. I did not fool you guys at all with these answers. Congratulations and good job. Now, it comes to who answered the quickest. We're going to see how the leaderboard stacks up, how fast you guys answered while this extension is taking its sweet little time. It does that sometimes. Here we go. Let's go ahead and show the scores on screen. Invader is on top, followed by an eight gamer Dingus Luna and Reaper Man. Congratulations, you guys. Good job. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next question. Ooh. Blasphemy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Here comes the next question, chat. Oh, it's not quite there yet. The extension's being a little slow today. A little slow. Gives us a chance to talk. Oh, just kidding. Next question. Here it comes. Which was the first video game to be played in space? First video game to be played in space. Here we go. If you want to answer the question, T-Head, you can click on the screen. It should be interactable. Interactive? You want to click on your answer, but the answer is not Pong. The answer is Tetris. Tetris is the first game that was played in space. Just a reminder, guys, there should be an interface coming up for you guys to click your answers. You do not need to say them in chat so that we can keep the game nice and fair and clean. But yes, Tetris is the correct answer. Let's go ahead and see how you guys did. Oh, man, there it is. Five. All of you got that one correct. Congratulations, Gamesters. Good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome to the stream. You caught us. You caught us early on the game show this time. We've only done two questions. Awesome. But yes, easy dubs. Luna, Luna's going in. Luna's going in. She says it's easy dubs. We're going to see how we're doing then. Let's go ahead. Invader is in the lead, followed by Innate Gamer Dingus and Luna and Reaper Man. Luna, you said easy dubs. You're in fourth place. What's going on here? Actually made it for the start. You did, Reaper Man. You did. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Let's get to the next re uh, visual. And we're going to wait for the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will call you out on this stream, Luna. <laughs> Just want to thank you guys all for coming by. This is always a really popular segment of the stream. I always enjoy doing these game shows for you guys. There is a prize at the end, so if you guys, uh, if you guys stay till the end uh, and have the opportunity to win, you have you have a chance for a prize. So we'll uh, that should be fun. All right, we're gonna move on to the next question. Thinking music. Which band made more money from gaming royalties in Guitar Hero than any of their albums sold? What band made more money from Guitar Hero royalties than any of their albums they've sold? Some of you might not even know who this band is. 
All right, everybody. The answer to that question is Aerosmith. Aerosmith actually made more money off of Guitar Hero royalties than they did from any of their albums they've ever sold. Ooh, Luna got that one. Nice. Reaper Man did not get that one. Innate Gamer got that one right. Hey, what's up, Space? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Interactive Sunday. It is Game Show Sunday. Let's go ahead and reveal the answer to you guys. Five of you got that one correct. <laughs> Glenn Danzig. I, you know what? I, I would have guessed. I would have bet, uh, bet on Danzig as well. Just honestly, because that's kind of the m most famous song that people played on Guitar Hero. Um, but apparently Aerosmith made more money off of Guitar Hero than Danzig did. Yeah. Mother. Yep, that's right. All right. Here we go, gent. We're going to go on to the... Let's go ahead and show the scores and see how everybody is doing. Dingus got that one uh, really fast. Pulled into second place, but Invader is still in first and eight. Dropped down to third place. Luna is still holding in fourth. And T-Head has moved into the fifth place spot over Reaper Man. Love that song. That is a good song. That is a good song. Not going to lie. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next question. People are too smart. Yeah, you know what? In doing these trivia games, I have noticed how smart people are. Like, I, I'm I'm genuinely surprised at how smart some people are because, like, there's some questions I put on here that I don't know and or didn't know when I was doing it, and people are getting it right, and I'm like, I don't really give you that much time to Google. So, I don't know. You guys are, you guys are smart. All right, next question. Which game is widely regarded as the worst video game ever created? What game is widely regarded as the worst video game ever created? You have 10 seconds. There it is, chat. The answer to the question is... Atari's E.T. Atari's E.T. was widely regarded as the worst video game of all all time. Yes, if you want to participate in the game show, you do not need to answer in chat. The interface on the front is actually interactive. You should be able to click and be able to uh, and to submit the answer you want. You do not need to answer in chat. And if you if you want to participate, you can also follow these instructions so that your name shows up on the leaderboard. But yes, let's see how you guys did on this one. Let's reveal the answer to this. Ooh, this was a this one was a swinger. Look at this. You know, I respect the people that uh, that actually answered Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu was an awful game. So I respect you guys answering that because that was a really really bad game. First question, minus 8,000 points. GG. <laughs> oh, no, Spaced. No, Shaq Fu was not amazing, Luna. It was not. All right, let's go ahead and see how everybody's doing. An 8 Gamer has pulled into the lead. And followed by Luna, Invader has dropped down a little bit. Dingus is in fourth. T-Head is holding in fifth place with a solid seven points. <laughs> But better than E.T. Okay. True. Better than E.T. That is that is very correct, Innate. <laughs> yeah, Innate, chill out. T-Head is holding strong at seven points. Let's give a big shout out to T-Head. Let's go, yes. You're late, people say. You're not that late. We've only we're only what about four or five questions in, Bino? You've got plenty of time. Alright, everybody, here comes the next question. This one's for all you Minecraft fans. In Minecraft, what is a group of Enderman called? What is a group of Enderman called? There is actually a name for a group of Enderman. You have 10 seconds. It's 
All right, everybody. The answer to this question is... Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the extension to tell you who's right. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. We're going to wait. I'm, I'm going to take this time to thank each and every one of you for being here. Appreciate your support and coming out and having some fun with us and playing some game. You're wrong. You know it. I should not have answered. All right. Let's go ahead and see how everyone did. Ooh. I got some people with the slender. It is a haunting. A haunting of Enderman. There you go. I respect the people with the slender and the joke that I was putting on there. Uh, a slender of Enderman. I respect people for knowing the joke I was trying to put there. <laughs> and also a gaggle. I love I love the group of geese called a gaggle. Let's go ahead and see how this shapes out the scores. Luna did know that one, and Luna is now in first place, followed by Innate Gamer, Invader, Dingus, and Bino has taken over the fifth place spot over T-Head, who now does not have seven points. He now has negative 1,287 points. Well, I'm out. <laughs> Spaced. Yep, Spaced is uh, is uh, holding steady in 10th place with negative 26,000 points. That's all right. There's plenty of... I've seen some people make some pretty incredible comebacks spaced out, so don't don't count yourself out just yet. Hey, what's up, Jenia, or Jemia? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday to you, my dear. You caught us on Game Show Sunday. We are playing a video game trivia game show today. You are more than welcome to participate. And we're going to go on and move to the next question. I've come back from negative 60k. That's true. You did, Invader. I remember that. Pac-Man was originally designed to resemble what food? Does it also count how long you took to answer your question? Yes, it does, Be no. Quicker you answer, the more points you get. Or lose. What food was Pac-Man resembling, or created to resemble? Here it comes, Chad. There it is. The answer to this one is pizza. The creator of Pac-Man was eating pizza when he designed the main character of Pac-Man. He was eating pizza. Inspiration comes in the most weird places, doesn't it, chat? <laughs> comes in the weirdest of places. Let's go ahead and see six of you. Got that one correct. Congratulations for those of you who guessed pizza. Good job. You guys will earn those points. The four of you who answered pie, not so much. You're going to end up losing those points. I learned this fact from watching King Angel's video game stream once. See? It all comes together. If you guys aren't watching King Angel's uh, streams, by the way, go check out that man. Check out the epic beard. All right, let's go ahead and see how the leaderboard is stacked up now. Innate Gamer has pulled back into the lead, followed by Invader. Luna has dropped down into third, followed by Dingus and Contestant 16. If you are Contestant 16, please make sure to follow the instructions down below the stream. So that you, your name actually shows up on leaderboard. The instructions are also in chat. If you are on mobile, if you go to the right top right of your uh, of your chat, there should be a the quiz kit extension. You should be able to follow the instructions from there as well. If that doesn't work and you still show up as contestant sixteen, just let me know who you are, and so we could make sure that we take note of it. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next question, chat. You probably already know what this question is about, but rest assured, it is not the answer to the question. Here we go. What is the original name of Mario? It is hard to pixelize 8-bit, that's true. What is Mario's original name before he was Mario? You have 10 seconds. Mario had a name before he was Mario. What was it? All right, everybody. The answer to this question is... Jumpman. Jumpman is Mario's original name 
because he was jumping over barrels. Time to get my money. Uh-oh, Luna. Sounds like she knew the question or knew the answer. Excuse me. This is the start of my comeback. Psych. Oh, no. Space. Ooh. I fooled the people with Plumber Man. <laughs> nope, it is Jump Man. Jump Man is the original uh, name for Mario. I should not answer these. <laughs> oh, no. I knew it after I clicked the wrong one. Oh, no, you got to be careful. Don't click too, too fast. You're gonna end up losing points. It was pretty it was pretty hard to pixelate an 8-bit thing of Mario, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, let's go ahead and see. Luna has pulled it. Man, this is a close game. You guys are jumping across the leaderboard. Luna is now in the lead, followed by an 8-gamer, Invader, Dingus, and contestant number 16. If somebody could let me know who is contestant number 16? Just let me know who you are in chat so we can make note of who you are. Because I'm assuming you followed the instructions. I gave you three different versions of the instructions. And I'm assuming they didn't work. So just let me know who you are. It should show up on the leaderboard on your screen uh, as highlighted contestant number 16. So just let me know who you are so we can take note. And uh, if you happen to get up and uh, and win the game so we know who to give the prize to. I answered Plumber Man very confidently. Oh no, Gamesters. Oh no, Gamesters. Oh no. All right, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and move on to the next question. What is the best-selling handheld gaming system to date? What is the best-selling handheld gaming system to date? Or of all time, if that helps. All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to this question is the Nintendo DS. The Nintendo DS currently holds the top spot for the highest grossing handheld gaming system of all time. How is it not Game Boy? Game Boy did not sell, or Game Boy may have sold more, but at it had a lower price. Best selling is based off of profit. Recount. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see how everybody did. Game Boy. Ooh. I meant amount, not profit. I believe. Uh, when I looked up the answer to this question, it was based off of best-selling by profit. Which I... Th sold 12 million more than DS in... Really? Did it really? Then my sources are totally wrong. Let me see. I can't give you points for this because I already input the answer, but let's see. Top-selling handheld game... Consoles. Huh. Then it might have been by volume. Huh. Yeah, it must have been by volume. No, the one I'm looking at right now is 154 million. That is 40, almost 40 million more than Game Boy did. Either way, Nintendo gives it. Give me my points. Baby. Sorry, Bino. Sorry. Let's see how everybody... Ooh, Spaced Out got that one right. Good job, Spaced. Hold on. Let's give... Space, 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 space. It was in your trivia the other night. Interesting, Luna. We'll have to we'll have to look that up some more because I, I just looked it up on the wiki and there's a list basically saying Nintendo DS beats Ni Game Boy by almost 40 million. Either way, Invader is now in the lead, followed by Luna, who's moved down into third pl uh, second place. Invader, Dingus, and Contestant 16, who has still not told me who they are in chat. It's Contestant 16. If you do not tell me who you are and you actually move up, I will not be able to give you your prize and we'd have to move to second place. Papa's, Papa's Frida's EXE. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday to you. Welcome to Interactive Game Show Day. 
the score hasn't changed, so they might be gone. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. All right. Go ahead and move on to the next question. Here we go. Thinking music, please. What is the first video game character to have a balloon featured in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? What is the first video game character to have the to have a balloon featured in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? There it is, chat. The first video game character to have a balloon in the parade is Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog was the first one. Uh-oh, Nate wasn't looking. Spaced out might have got this one wrong. Yes, he did. Luna, too. Unlucky. Yep. Sonic the Hedgehog was the first one. And then, then it spiraled out of control. Now video game characters get a balloon every other balloon. <laughs> Hey, don't call me out like that. <laughs> you wrote it in chat, Spaced. <laughs> Ooh, but most everybody got that correct. That was the wrong sound bite. There we go. You love the Macy's Day Parade? I can only watch... I can only watch it for so long, and then I get bored. Hey, what's up, Dark? Good to see you, my friend. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to the stream. All right, let's go ahead and see how the scores are shaping up. Invader is now has a commanding lead over Innate Gamer, Dingus, Luna, and contestant number 16, who is not answering questions and is still holding strong in fifth place. Hey, what's up, Tacos? Current Chaos, how you doing? Thanks so much for dropping by. Happy Sunday to you guys. It is Interactive Sunday. We're playing, we're doing a game show today. We're not even halfway done yet, so you guys, if you guys want to participate, you can follow the instructions down below. You can follow the instructions in chat. Or, if you are on mobile, you can go to the top right corner of your chat and click the quiz kit extension and allow access to the your Twitch account. And you can show up on the leaderboard and have a chance to win a prize. Oh, they answered that time? Oh, okay. Contestant number 16, if you are here and you are listening, please let me know who you are. So that we know, so that if you happen to win, we know who to give the prize to. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Chat, here it comes. Thinking music, please. What product did Nintendo make before making video games? What product did Nintendo make before making video games? You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody. There it is. The answer to this question is... Playing cards. Nintendo made playing cards before it made video games. I'd say that was a really good uh, shift in product, don't you think? <laughs> Uh-oh. Reaper Man clicked wrong. Spaced, ah, uh, I had you know, spaced. We gotta help. We gotta help you out somehow. <laughs> we gotta. We gotta get you in there. <laughs> oh no, spaced. I feel bad. <laughs> hey, playing cards. Everybody got that one correct except for two people. One of them being spaced. You know, spaced. I might have to. Um, might have to put a prize for the uh, person who scores the worst. Just for you. <laughs> oh, and Reaper Man. Oh no, they called themselves out. All right, let's go ahead. We're go ahead and see the scores. Ooh, the honkers. Who did that? Dark with the honkers. Why are the honkers flying a little bit lower today? I wonder why that is. Huh. Weird. Nope, that's not it. Oh. Oh god, we're not thinking! I'm pressing buttons! This isn't good. My bad. Alright, scores! Invader! Still the commanding lead over innate gamer Dingus Luna! And contestant number 16. Emotional damage. Just scroll running also seemed lower, did it? Ah, uh, okay. 
I might have messed with some things. Hold on. We're moving stuff. He is a little low, isn't he? He is a little low. Let's move him back up. There we go. All right, we're back. Let's go back to the... Uh, somehow it shifted. He got shifted a little bit lower. There he is. Now he's a bit better. Got him. All right. Let's see. Yes, spaced out at negative 73,000 points. Give a big shout out for space. <laughs> He's playing the game in reverse. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Are you guys ready? Here it comes. What popular dining franchise is the founder of Atari also responsible for? What restaurant did the owner of Atari also create? You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody. The answer to this question is Chuck E. Cheese, uh, the owner of Atari, actually created the Chuck E. Cheese franchise. Charles Edward Cheese. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's not. Let's I feel like I got this. This is a trick question. This was not a trick question. And it sounds like space may have gotten it right. Uh Oh, he, his comeback is starting chat. Here it is. I'm expecting it to. Oh, man. A lot of you got that one. Correct. Now, did you guys get that correct because you knew it or did you get it correct because of the hint? Let me know in chat. Innate guess, the picture. Okay, so the hints do help. I'm glad. So I was starting to think some of you guys were geniuses and just, you know, this this visual doesn't help you at all. <laughs> Dingus knew it. Wow, shout out to Dingus for the random knowledge. You are a genius, though, all A's. That's true. All right, let's go ahead and show the scores. Invader still has a really good lead over Dingus, who has taken over the second place spot over Invader. Luna is moving back up into fourth place. Contestant number 16 is not answering any questions and is still holding at the fifth place spot. I might have said Chili's. That's okay, Pete Gaming. That's all right. We got plenty of questions left for you to correct that mistake. All right, good job. You guys are you guys are doing awesome. Shout out to everybody here who came in and, and is uh, rocking the fun interactive stream we've got today. We do game shows every other Sunday. So, oh, oh. Is that right? Ooh, we got some new people coming in. Hey, Amy, thank you so much for dropping by. Moonlight, thank you so much for coming in. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. Big honkers going across the screen. Who did that? Space with the honkers. What's up, everybody? Good to see you guys here. Thank you so much for dropping by. I see I cowboy. Thank you so much for dropping in. Bino. Oh wait, Bino was here. Oh yeah. Big oh yeah from Current Chaos. What's going on, everybody? Happy to see you all here. Thank you so much, Swift Arrow. Thank you so much for dropping by. Calm. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Why is my hold on the uh, thing for my there we go. It should be higher. That was weird. Not sure why that wasn't there. Ghost, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday to you. Talking Tequila, thank you so much for coming by. Happy Sunday to you as well. I am present and beyond excited for this. I am excited that you're here, Talking Tequila. Thank you so much for being here. Idly Virus, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the stream. Mass Rager, all right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Billy Wangers. <laughs> That's a funny name. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sith Gaming, what's going on? You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Zero Mile Kyle, if you guys are wanting to participate in the game show, we've got a you know, fan. Thank you so much for that follow. We have we are doing a game show right now. If you guys would like to participate in the game show, we're not even halfway done. If you'd like to participate, you can follow the instructions down below, uh, down below my webcam. You can follow the instructions in chat, or if you're on mobile, you can go to the top right corner of your screen. There should be a quiz kit extension. You can go ahead and allow that uh, access to your uh, Twitch account, and you should be able to uh, show up on the leaderboard and be eligible for a prize. But it is 
Game Show Sunday. Let's go ahead and give a round of applause for, for everybody in chat. <laughs> Sit, thank you so much for those 20 bits. Let's go, man. Just came in for the Discord. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, uh, Ink Primate. Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday to you. Thank you for spending your Sunday here. Yes, you guys can throw the acorns at my likeness. But we're going to go ahead and get, uh, keep going with the game show. I hope you guys have some fun, as much fun as we have for the uh, for this game show. Again, if you want to participate, follow the instructions below the stream uh, or in the top right corner of your chat in on mobile. Here we go, everybody. Here comes the next question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What position did the creator of the Game Boy have at Nintendo? I'm doing well, fan. Thank you for asking. What job position did the, per the inventor of the Game Boy have? You have 10 seconds. Time to lose. Uh-oh. All right, chat. There it is. The answer to this question is... A janitor. The janitor actually created the Game Boy. If you guys want to participate, by the way, you guys can click on the interface on your stream. Do not say the answers in chat to keep it fair. Uh, you should be able to click on the interface on your stream to uh, submit the answer that you would like to give. But yes, the answer to this question is the janitor. The janitor came up with the ga concept for Game Boy. See how you guys did on this one. Hey, lots of people got that one correct. Congratulations to the to you people for getting that one correct. Shout out to the people who didn't um, answer CEO. That would have been pretty funny. Uh-oh, Invader got greedy. Uh-oh. I said he said screw it and put janitor. Yeah, it, Reaper man, that was a good uh good answer. How pal, thank you so much for dropping by, my dear. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. So did I put the answer in chat? No, no, no. So um, there's an interface that should be showing up on your screen. You should be able to click or tap if you're on mobile on that interface uh, to submit the answer that you want to uh, that you want to put in. You do not say the answers in chat. Hey, what's up, Norio? Good to see you, my friend. Hi, Purge. What's up, my friend? Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome to the stream. Let's go ahead and show the scores and see how everybody is doing. An eight gamer. And 8 Gamer is in the very slight lead over Invader, followed by Luna, Dingus, and contestant number 16. By the way, for all of you who are showing up as contestant and a number, you need to follow the instructions down below my webcam. Follow the instructions in chat. Uh, game show? I spelled game show wrong. Don't judge me. Game show. You can follow those instructions in chat, or if you are on mobile, you can go to the top right corner of your chat. There should be a, an extension called Quiz Kit. You want to have that access to your uh, Twitch account, and you should be able to uh, participate and get your name on the leaderboard. It's a lot of new contestants. Happy to have you guys here. We're going to go ahead and put on um, the next question. After 10 seconds, everybody, by the way, you have 20 seconds to answer the question. After 10 seconds, I have made this visual video for you to give you an idea of what the answer might be. Hey, what's up, Solus? Good to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for dropping by. Elf Daddy, thank you for being here. Welcome to the stream. Is that a sweetheart Shiren I see in the, in the chat? Shiren? <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. TJ Crafts, thank you for coming in. Thank you for those, uh, thank you for the follow. Elf Daddy, thank you for those four bits. Don't fear, TJ is here. All right, TJ. If, thank you all for coming by. Thank you for the support run. Thank you uh, for coming by on our interactive game show day. For all the new people coming in, if you want to participate in the game show, first rule, do not say the answers in chat. There will be an interface that comes up on your screen. You could just simply click or tap the answer that you want to submit. If you come up as a contestant on the leaderboard, you can go ahead and follow the instructions down below my webcam, or if you are on mobile, you can go to the top right corner of your chat. There should be an extension called Quiz Kit, and you can allow that access to your Twitch account, and your name will show up on the leaderboard. All right, everybody, here we go. We're going to go on to the next question. Here it comes. Thinking music, please. What video game franchise racked up over $1 billion in lawsuits? What video game franchise was racked up over $1 billion 
in lawsuits. You have 10 seconds. Remember to click the answer you want to in to put on there. All right, everybody. The answer is uh, no surprise to anybody. Grand Theft Auto has racked up over $1 billion in lawsuits. Probably got this wrong, but it's funny. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> got to run, M. Fantastic Three. All right, fan. Thank you so much for dropping by. We'll see you next time. Yeah, of course. Once you actually look at it, it's like, wait, that makes so much sense, right? <laughs> I should have paid attention to the clue. Yes, the clue is there for you to pay attention and give you the answer. But 16 people got that one correct. I did not fool anybody. Mortal Kombat, you know what? I respect the people who put Mortal Kombat because that is a good guess. That is not the answer to the question, unfortunately. Lineage 2 actually did have some lawsuits on it, as if you guys didn't, uh, uh, if you guys didn't know. But they did have some lawsuits, but not nearly as many as Grand Theft Auto did. All right, you thought it was MK? Nope, it was not MK. It was not. All right, let's go ahead and show the scores and see how everybody is doing. Ooh, Roasted S'mores got that one real quick. Innate Gamer still has a very tiny lead over Innate uh, Invader, followed by Dingus, Luna.gov, and the Swift Arrow has moved into fifth place, rounding out your top five. Dang. Dingus. Dingus moving up. This is a close game. I'm expecting this one to go the long haul. What's up, Ryan? Good to see you, my friend. Those are some fancy emotes you got there, Hal Pal. I wonder where you got those. <laughs> Didn't DK get a ridiculous lawsuit of, uh, over a world record? Yes, I believe you are correct. They did. But it wasn't a billion dollars, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move the extension. Ooh, that's a small... I must... I That clue, I must have forgotten to resize, but... It's there, so I hope you guys got your glasses on for that clue. I love these emos. <laughs> hey, one DJ Rich, thank you so much for dropping by. First time chatter, happy to see you here. Thank you so much for coming by. If you want to participate, you can follow the instructions down below, or you can uh, uh, go to the top right corner of your chat on mobile. Allow quiz kit ex uh, the extension acts to your Twitch can't Do not say the answers in chat. Here we go. Thinking music, please. What is the maximum amount of rupees in the original Legend of Zelda game? What is the maximum amount of rupees in the original Legend of Zelda game? You have 10 seconds. The hint doesn't actually help you with this one, so... If there was one I forgot to resize, it's okay to be this one. All right, here we go, everybody. The answer to this question is... Actually, I'm really curious to see how many people get to write. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say what the answer is until the quiz kit puts it in here. Never played Zelda. Well, that makes this difficult for you, doesn't it? <laughs> no clue. I guessed. I thought... Uh, I thought of the wrong Zelda. Uh-oh. All right, let's see how everybody did. Ooh. The answer was 255. Hey, crazy. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. Let's give a big shout out. Let's do a slash shout out. The fancy shout out for crazy. Thank you so much for that raid. Welcome to the stream. If you guys aren't following or supporting crazy, go ahead and give him a follow off of the shout out. But yes, the answer to this one was 255. Back when the game was being developed, the number date the uh, the number could only go up to 255 at that time. So yikes! Lots of people got that one incorrect. One person got it correct. It was Moonlight. Let's give a big round of applause for Moonlight. <laughs> the only one to get that one correct. And the people who are at the top of the leaderboard did the smart thing and waited to, till the end to answer the question. And that, by that, I mean Innate Gamer to hold on to his lead is now in first place, followed by Invader Dingus, Luna.gov, and Moonlight, with that one, moves into fifth place, rounding out the top five. Obscure Gaming BS. Yes, exactly. Because two, uh, 256 a bit limits and had a zero. Yep. Yep. It was zero. It was uh. It was zero starting, and it only had two hundred and fifty-six bits. Yep. 
Zero Mal Kyle with the programming knowledge over there in the background. All right. Good job, everybody. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question and see how you guys are doing. Let's go ahead. Next question. Thinking music, please. Why did Australia refuse to rate Fallout 3? Australia refused to give Fallout 3 a rating. Tell me why. All right, everybody, here it is. The answer to this question is morphine usage. The idea of morphine usage in the video game caused Australia to refuse to rate the game. I don't know if they refuse to release the game, but they refuse to rate it. I don't know if they can actually release a game without a rating. I thought it would be language. Nope, it was not language. Here we go. Let's go ahead and reveal the answer. Seven of you got that one correct. Good job. But eight of you thought the idea of nuclear war gave them the uh, uh, reason not to rate it. That is incorrect. That is half of everybody in the leaderboard, which means that this might be a leaderboard swinger. So we'll go ahead and have to see who... Who got it right and who got it wrong and how that affects the leaderboard. K Dizzle, thank you so much for dropping by. First time chatter. I see you over there. Happy Sunday to you. Welcome to the stream. It is Interactive Sunday. We are doing a game show with video game trivia. Hope you uh, enjoy your stay. And if you want to participate, you could follow the instructions down below my stream, my webcam. Or you can go, if you're on mobile, you can go to the top right corner of your chat and let Quiz Kit Extension access to your Twitch account. Just make sure the only rule to follow is you do not say the uh, answer in chat. Dingus, thank you so much for those hundred bits. I appreciate that, my friend. You are amazing. That is very kind of you. Let's go ahead and show the scores and see how everybody is doing. Invader and Innate Gamer are almost tied for the top spot. Look at how close that score is. Dingus is in third place. Luna.gov is in fourth. And Roasted S'mores tops out the uh, rounds out the top five. Love this. Thank you, Talking Tequila. I appreciate that. We do this every other Sunday. This is a bi-weekly game show. So if you missed or don't win this time around, don't fret. We do this every other Sunday. You can always come back and come back stronger. The next game show should have answered faster. You should have. That's true. At least I'm in the top 12. Yes, the Sith. You are in the top 12. Kate Dizzle, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. I should be moving. Where's my... Uh, my alerts are all behind everything. Let's go ahead and move that up. There we go. All right, here we go, everybody. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next question. That is a really... Okay, chat, before you, uh, before you flame me for what this picture is, just, just bear with me here, okay? Bear with... I did, I did not... I did not look at this uh, visual before I put it on stream. I had to rush this morning. Please do not... <laughs> I'm turning beet red for this. I, I apologize for this. Cannot hold back on the flaming. Ah, all right. Well, you know what? I'm going to continue the game show then. Here we go. Next question. What... A oh, God. What ailment was uh, Nintendo sued and lost for resulting in payouts? And no, chat, it was not for wiener injuries. It was not for wiener injuries. It's a finger, chat. Okay, relax. <laughs> relax. It's a finger. The answer to this question is blisters. Nintendo actually lost a lawsuit over people complaining that they were getting blisters and actually had to pay and, and resulted in payouts. <laughs> I got worse until it was completely unblurred. It did get worse. You're exactly right. And they say, figure you, you shut your mouth with arrow. <laughs> why did, why did I choose posture injuries? Well, because we all have posture injuries. 
Hey, what's up, Dav? Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for dropping by. Let's go ahead and reveal the answer. See how we're Ooh, lots of you got that one correct. Thank you, everybody, for getting that one correct and not saying penis injuries. <laughs> Eye damage. On what planet did I think that? Oh, man. I don't know. Why did you think that? I don't understand. Why would you pick that? I lost... No, Luna. I thought you were the uh, the king, king, queen. You were you were going to be uh, you were going to be the winner of the trivia. What happened? What happened? Tell us, tell us what happened, New Luna. All right, let's go ahead and show the scores and see how everybody is doing. Invader is in the lead, followed by Innate Gamer. Dingus Roasted S'mores is now in fourth place, and Luna has moved back down into fifth place. Uh oh. Uh oh. It makes sense, to be honest. Yeah, it does. I still have a lawsuit pending with Nintendo for my penis. Damn it, Swift Arrow. <laughs> Bonjour. I'm only 200k out of the lead now. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, Zero Mile Kyle has actually taken over the, the lead for the lowest score, which used to be Space. Space is actually making a comeback. Shout out for Space to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and games is actually has a has a positive score as well big flex for for just a couple gamesters all right here we go chan here comes the next question it is not a penis question i promise here it comes what is the highest grossing movie based on a video game highest grossing video game movie that GameCube had me acting up, yeah. <laughs> Highest grossing movie video game. Video game movie. Don't shoot the messenger, champ, but the answer to this question is the Warcraft movie. The Warcraft movie actually passed Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu actually held that for a long time until the Warcraft movie came out and passed it. It did. Yeah, Warcraft was not a good movie, by the way. Well, apparently not. According to my sources, Warcraft actually beat out Detective Pikachu. And back down I go, no space, no. <laughs> you had your moment in the sun. Sonic, really? Ooh. Wow, there's a, there's a big split on this one. I better stop calling myself a gamer after this. Oh no, Swift. The original Mario Bros. Ew, that movie was so bad. Barely beat it. All right, there it is. Barely beat it. Seven million apart. Well, that means I'm not wrong in the answer to this question. Let's go ahead and show the scores and see how it shifted. Invader is now in the, is, is in the lead. A little bit bigger lead over Invader. Roasted S'mores, Dingus, and Luna is talking, rounding out the top four. Four? Five? I can't count. And Zero Mile Kyle still holding his lead down at the bottom of the leaderboard with 84, negative 84,000 points. Lost almost 20k with that one. Oh no, spaced. I'm not negative anymore. Hey, big shout out for Reaper Man. <laughs> Not negative anymore. Hey, what's up, Scottish Cobra? Good to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome to the stream. There's an Assassin's Creed movie. There is not. Is there? If it did, I've never heard of it. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next question. Yes, feed me squir feed me acorns. Don't feed me squirrels. That's weird. Squirrel! What is the name of the final course of all Mario Kart games? Snack break, yes. What is the final course of all Mario Kart games? Every single Mario Kart game. All right, everybody, there it is. The answer to this question is 
Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road is the final course of every Mario Kart game. Hey, what's up, Hot Wi-Fi? Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday to you. If you would like to participate in the game show that we have going on right now, you can follow the instructions down below the stream. If you're on PC, if you're on mobile, you can go to the top right corner of your chat and allow Quiz Kit extension access to your Twitch account, and you can show up on the leaderboard. Do not say the answers in chat, and the interface is interactable. You can click on the uh, answer you wish to submit. Go ahead and reveal the answer to this one. I did not fool... I, I fooled a couple of people, but most of you got that one correct. Congratulations to you guys. We can go ahead and see how we do on the points. While we wait for the extension, I would like to thank each and every one of you for coming by. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for being here on Interactive Sunday. If you're curious as to if you were late or if you're curious as to how often we do these game shows, we do them every other weekend on Sundays so that you guys can come back. If you were late or if you don't win, do not fret. You can always come back and do it again. Uh, the next Sunday. Appreciate you all for being here. I love each and every one of you. Appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead and see how the scores round out for this one. Invader has a commanding lead over Innate Gamer right now. Roasted S'mores is moving up the leaderboard, followed by Dingus and Luna.gov rounding out the top five. The top five. Well, I'll be damned. There's an Assassin's Creed movie. <laughs> Yeah, I had, I didn't know that either, Innate. I really didn't. I really didn't. All right, let's go ahead and get in moving for the next question. You guys ready? Here it comes. Thinking music, please. Mario originated as a character in which video game? Where did Mario appear for the first time? As we know for originally from the game, his name was Jumpman. Go ahead and go on, move on here. You have ten, you have five seconds. Chat, big raid coming in from Woodsy. There it is, everybody. The answer to the question is Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong was the first appearance of Mario, where his name was originally Jumpman. Thank you so much for dropping for dropping by. Thank you so much for that raid, uh, Woodsy. Let's give Woodsy a big, a big shout out. There we go. Got the Woodsy. If you're not following Woodsy, go ahead and give him some love from that fancy shout out we got there. Gib Sprout. What's up, my friend? Thank you so much for dropping by. Mushroom Cat. Caddy Waddy is here. I think I saw... I think I saw Jess. Is it Jess? Jess is in the chat. Holy crap! <laughs> Big shout out to Jess. Thank you so much for dropping by. Riding the raid wave over into my stream. Thank you so much for being here. Phantom, what's going on, my friend? Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Flash, what's up, my friend? You guys have caught us on Game Show Sunday. We are doing a video game trivia uh, game show right now. We're just a little bit halfway done. If you guys still want to participate, you can follow the instructions down below my webcam. You can, if you are on mobile, you can go to the top right corner of your stream. There should be the quiz kit extension. You can allow that access to your Twitch account and you will show up on the leaderboard. Please, when a question is active, do not say the answer in chat. You can just simply click or tap the answer you want to submit. And that will be that. I hope you guys have fun. As much fun as I am having, we are a little bit, we have crested the halfway mark. I hope you guys will uh, participate in the game show. It's always that much fun. Let me reveal the answer since I've been talking way too much. Oh, man, I didn't fool anybody with that one. Congratulations. Big shout out to everybody on that. Yes, feed me acorns. Good job, everybody, for getting that one correct. That is... Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. You saw Squirrel, indeed. All right, let's go ahead and see how that rounds up the score. It probably isn't going to do too much. And no, it hasn't. Invader still has a decent lead over Inva Invader. In Invader? No, Innate Gamer. Excuse me. Followed by Rosa S'mores, Dingus, and Luda.gov. Moonlight is cresting on the hills, trying to get back, uh, back into 
the top five. I am the quiz queen. Are you? Well, here you go. If you can make the comeback, Mushroom Cat, from halfway through, then you will deserve that win and the prize at the end. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Here it comes, chat. Thinking music, please. Which one of these is not a character that appears in the Metal Gear franchise? Which of these is not a character that appears in the Metal Gear franchise? I actually have the wrong answer. Don't answer this question, chat. Don't answer it. I just realized I have the wrong correct answer in here. Do not answer this question. Don't answer it. I am very embarrassed, chat. I put the wrong answer as the answer to this one. I am fully ashamed because Metal Gear is one of my favorite game franchises of all time. The right answer is Blind Snake. Blind Snake is not a character that shows up in the Metal Gear franchise. Unfortunately, I asked uh, for some reason and somehow put Solidus Snake as the wrong an as the correct answer, which is incorrect. He is the main bad guy in the second game. I am sorry. I apologize. I can't fix it. So I am sorry. <laughs> this is rigged. Wow, lots of you. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh boy. Three of you got that one correct with the wrong answer. Oh boy. That is embarrassing. I apologize for that chat. Let me, I'm going to have to double check my sheet because I do not remember putting that as the answer. Let me, let me, I'm going to double check this right now because I, I think QuizKit might actually be screwing me on this one. Let me double check. Double checking chat. I'm attempting to place blame off of myself. Uh, where is it? Well, son of a gun, I did put the wrong answer. Well, that is my fault. You can blame me if you want, chat. I apologize. What's up, Bandana Man? Good to see you. I apologize. No fair. You guys, I am sorry. Lots of you got that one incorrect. I am so sorry. But. That was the curveball. Maybe some of us need. I do have to double check. Yeah, I usually I don't have to. This is the first time this has happened. Yeah, that was that was an unfortunate byproduct of me not checking my work. Thank you so much for those 30 bits, cat. But Invader, so we, the, the game must go on. Invader. Is still in the lead, followed by an eight gamer, Roses, S'mores, Dingus, and just a couple gamesters has moved into the fifth place spot over Luna.gov. I apologize again, everybody. That was my bad. There's Solid Snake right there. And we move on. That is really embarrassing. <laughs> it gave us a chuckle anyway. Not any more than the uh the blister question probably did. You might have accidentally passed spaced. Ooh. Oh. Yep, you did pass space. You are now in the... Uh, you are still in the lead for the worst score, Zero Mile. Yes, it is rigged. I'm sorry, Dark. I've been, I've been outed by myself. All right, next question, chat. Here it comes. Which was the first Nintendo console that used optical discs? Which was the first Nintendo console for optical discs? You have 10 seconds. Do not say the answer in chat. You can click the answer on your screen or tap it on mobile. And no, it is not the Wii. The answer is the GameCube. The GameCube was the first uh, Nintendo product that used optical discs for their games. Finally, a question for me. Yes, Luna, a question for you. Finally, a question for Luna. This is her redemption arc. She's coming back. GameCube, correct, is the correct answer. Good job for you guys. Okay, bye, everyone. <laughs> All right, Bandana Man, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming by. Dreamcast used cartridges. 
Actually, I think, no, Dreamcast used discs. I'm pretty sure it did. But it was not the first one to use discs. Dreamcast was Sega. Yes, that's true too, Luna. Dreamcast was Sega, not a Nintendo product. All right. Ooh, Moonlight got that one real fast. Here we go. Invader is still in the lead, followed by Roasted S'mores. Innate Gamer has actually moved down into the third place spot, followed by Dingus. Luna is now back into the top five. And now as if that one Metal Gear question had never happened. You're seventh. Oh, yes. No, wait, no, you're not. Not on my screen, you're not. Mushroom Cat, you are 19th. I don't know what game you're looking at. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we go. We have fixed it. Oh, no, I'm 19th. Yeah, yeah. I was 7th for the question. Yes. Yeah, it rigged. No, it is not rigged. I swear. The game is not rigged. All right, here we go, chant. This one is actually probably one of the... This is actually probably the hardest question, I think, on the quiz. Here it comes. Mr. Ballard, thank you so much for that follow. What does the name Nintendo mean, chat? Eamon, what's up, my friend? Thank you so much for dropping in. First time chatter, good to see you. What does the name Nintendo mean, chat, when translated into English? What does the name Nintendo mean in English? Of course, the visual doesn't really help you very much, but the answer to this question is... Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see how everybody did when we do this. You know this? Oh, Mushroom Cat knows this one. Sith is going for the lowest score. <laughs> All right, let's reveal the answer and see how many did that. Leave. Or leave? Uh, leave luck to heaven. Sorry, I can't read. I had it right the first time. Leave luck to heaven is actually the translation from Nintendo to English. Ten of you got that one correct. Man, you guys are smart. You guys are the smirt. I wasn't expecting a lot of people to get that one correct. You knew that one, Mushroom Cat. Tell, let me, uh, you know what, Mushroom Cat? Let me know how you knew that one. I would like to know. Didn't trust her. Oh, I scared the dog. What's the matter with you? I'm just petting you. <laughs> this dog. I didn't trust Joe, and he was right. Oh, no. Lindsay. Lindsay. You gotta trust Joe on that one. Ooh, contestant number 56 got that one real fast. Congratulations. Invader is still in a commanding lead over Roasted S'mores. Innate Gamer is in third place. Dingus is in fourth. And Moonlight Kitsune has moved into fifth place. Man, there's a, there's a battle for fifth place going on right now. Luna and Moonlight are duking it out. It's like, dude, do we need to, you know, we need to, we need to do the announcements. In the red corner, we have Luna.gov. <laughs> and in the blue corner, we have Moonlight Kitsune. The battle for fifth place has begun. All right. It's good to see you guys. Wow. Zero Mile Kyle is actually in a commanding lead for the worst score, which, which is negative 86,000 points. <laughs> Mushroom Cat with the honkers. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Chat, let me get the visual going here. And here it comes. Thinking music, please. What gaming console did the United States Air Force use to create a cluster supercomputer? Me with the honkers, yes. The Air Force used a gaming console to create a supercomputer. Which console was it? All right, everybody. The answer to this question is, as you can see, the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 3 at its time what had the processing power for a supercomputer and so the Air Force decided to use it. 
I thought it was the Xbox. Incorrect. It was not the Xbox. It was the PlayStation 3. It won't let you click. No, Mushroom Cat. No. I hope it's not bugging out for you. You may need to re. Uh, you may need to refresh the stream. Yes, PlayStation Love. I do love me my PlayStation. Let's go ahead and see how everybody did. Eight of you got that one correct. Congratulations. The other eight of you did not get that correct. I'd have zero points on these quiz things. I know I know nothing about gaming stuff. Well, the interesting thing, Jess, is that uh, you could probably score pretty well on the leaderboard by just looking, waiting for the clue to come up, answering the question, and getting low points, and just and just leaving it at that. And you'd probably score better than half the people on there because there we've got a lot of people in the negative. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and see how the scores round out for this one. Ooh, Scottish Cobra got that one real quick. Shout out to Scottish. All right. Invader is still in the lead, followed by Roasted S'mores. Dingus Moonlight has moved into fourth place, and Luna has moved up into fifth place, and Innate Gamer dropped from second place down to sixth. Innate! What happened, my friend? Did you get that one wrong? Oh, Invader got that one wrong, too. What happened to Innate? He dropped all the way down. That's crazy. What a fall from grace. But we've got some more questions, so he's got time to get that one back. Go ahead and move into the next question here. And see... How everybody does on this one. Thinking music, please. What is the first gaming console... To have in-house memory. What gaming console was the first one to not require a memory card to save your game? Who remembers? Petridge Farm remembers. You have 10 seconds. There it is, chat. The answer to this question is... Squirrel. The Sega Saturn... The Sega Saturn was the first video game console to have in-house memory to save your game. It was not the Dreamcast. Dreamcast still required a memory card. It's working. Nice, Tequila. Nice. Man, who did anybody hear? You know what? Put a one in chat if you had a Sega Saturn. I had a Sega Saturn. That thing was wild. Probably the most uncomfortable controller I've ever played with. That controller setup was whack. It was not good. I hated it. All right, here we go, chat. There it is. Ooh, that's a leaderboard <laughs> swinger. Saturn was an add on for the Mega Drive. It was not, it was its own console. Dreamcast was a good one. Oh. Big point drop. Uh-oh. Big point drop for Luna. This is a big point drop for a lot of people, Chan. Here it comes. Let's see. Who got this one right? Cobra got this one right, and Sith got this one right. Everybody else got this one wrong. Let's go ahead and see. Invader is still in the lead. Roasted S'mores is still in second. Innate has moved back up into third. Innate. You're like just like a wild roller coaster of emotions, man. I don't I don't know how to feel. You're in sixth, you're in second, you're in third. I don't know what's going on. Dingus, you're in fourth. Moonlight, you're in fifth, and Luna is back down to sixth place. Actually, Scottish Cobra is moving up the leaderboard. Shout out to Scottish. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question. We still got a lot of questions to go, chat. I hope you guys are having fun. I'm having a whole I'm having a blast every time I do this. The interaction is awesome, and thank you guys all for coming by and interacting with me on this Game Show Sunday. Let's go on and go to the next question. This one is a very dear question to my heart. I hope you guys get this one correct. Here it comes. What iconic weapon does Gordon Freeman use in Half-Life? What is Gordon Freeman's favorite weapon in the Half-Life series? Gordon Freeman. You have 10 seconds. All right, everybody, here it comes. The answer to this question is the crowbar. 
Gordon Freeman's favorite weapon in Half-Life is the crowbar. Not Gordon Ramsay. Never played it? Ooh, I highly, highly suggest it. In fact, I've got a poster right here of Gordon himself holding his, he'll holding his crowbar. Puts it up on my wall. There we go. It's now crooked because I took it off the wall. I'll have to fix it. It's going to bother me later. Gordon Ramsay's favorite it would be lamb sauce. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, I got confused with the Doom guy. No, don't get confused with the Doom guy. Somebody put charge SMG. Shout out to you Fortnite players. <laughs> Shout out to you Fortnite players for that one Fortnite player who put charge SMG. <laughs> All right. I respect the BFG. Yeah, it's not the Doom guy. It's Gordon Freeman. Doom guy would be BFG. Worst gun ever. <laughs> Yeah, the, the charge SMG was really bad. All right, let's go ahead and see how the leaderboard guard Luna got that one really quick. Shout out to Luna. Woman after my own heart. Half-Life is my favorite game of all time, by the way, chat. That's why that was that question meant a lot to me. But we've got Invader, who's still in top spot. Uh, roasted S'mores in, in second. Luna has moved up into third place, followed by Innate Gamer, who's now in fourth. I don't know where Innate's going to be. Every, this has now just become the game show of Innate Gamer. Where will Innate Gamer show up on the leaderboard? Nobody knows. And then Dingus is now in fifth place. Let's see, where's Mushroom Cat? Where's she at? She's in 14th place. She's steadily moving up the leaderboard, everybody. Hey, Gib Sprout, big squirrel wave right back at you, my friend. Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome to the stream. Actually, you've been here, but thank you for being here. I appreciate that. All right. I went for crowbar, but fat-fingered pistol. Oh, no, Moonlight. All right, here comes the next question, chat. Here it comes. Thinking music, please. What is the name of the planet from Subnautica? Also one of my favorite games. Subnautica, you crash land on a water planet. What is the name of that planet? You have 10 seconds. Moonlight, thank you for that follow. All right, everybody. The answer to this question is... Planet 4546B... 4546B is the name of the planet from Subnautica. Kerwan and Donna are from different games, and Water Planet was just me trying to figure out another answer I could put in here because I needed to get put four. <laughs> so I just said Water Planet. Hey, but 12 of you, that is way more than I thought was actually going to get that question. 12 of you got that one correct. And I'm thinking there's a couple people who just didn't answer, which I think is a pretty good strategy at this point in the game. Mushroom Cat is a god, according to her. I'm assuming she got that one correct. Didn't even guess on that one. Nice, Dingus. Nice. Kerwan is Ratchet and Clank. Yes, it is. My wife actually gave me that one. That's one of her favorite games. She said, use Kerwan. I was like, yes, ma'am. All right, let's go ahead. Zero Mile Kyle actually got that one the fastest. Good job, Kyle. Invader is still in the lead, followed by Roasted S'mores. Luna is now in third place, and eight has not moved and is in fourth place. He's giving us a break, and Moonlight is in fifth place. <laughs> yes, yep, that's exactly that's exactly how the conversation went, Game says. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I will put that in there. <laughs> That's the uh, that's uh, that's Squirrel Master's uh, marriage advice for the day. Uh, if you are male, you say yes, ma'am. <laughs> you think your lead is still safe? Ooh, let's see. Zero Mile Kyle, my God, your lead is definitely safe in thirty sixth place with negative one hundred and thirty hundred and thirteen thousand points. All right, here we go, chant. The next question, this one's for all you God of War fans. What is the name of Kratos' primary weapon from the original God of War? 
the original God of War. What are the names of Kratos' weapons in the original God of War? You have 10 seconds. And we're going to ignore the fact that the uh, tip is coming from the fourth God of War. All right, everybody. The answer to this question is the Blades of Chaos. Blades of Chaos was the original weapon of Kratos in the first original God of War. 50-50 on right or wrong? Yes. If you guys are wondering, Exile Blades, that is not exactly correct. That is from the second game, and they were actually called Blades of the Exile. So that's actually not the right name. I had to change it just in case somebody was going to fact check me and go, Actually, it was called Blades of Exile. I had to, I had to put a different, uh, different name on there to avoid those people. I don't know how I had that one... Matt, who did that? Crazy with the quack, Matt. Shiren got that one correct. Nice. Let's go ahead and reveal the answer. <laughs> I didn't fool anybody with that one. Congratulations to all the people who answered that question correctly. Good job. Jemmy, uh, thank you so much for those 20 bits. Thank you so much, my dear. I appreciate that. That is very kind of you. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate that you did. All right. Let's go ahead and see. The extension is still going. Ooh. Oh, big squirrel wave right back at you, Tequila. <laughs> Just a couple gamesters with the honkers. Yes, feed me acorns. Let's go ahead and go ahead and see how the uh, scores are going. Invader is still in the top spot and has crested 200,000 points. Followed by Roasted S'mores, Luna.gov, Moonlight, and an eighth has moved down into fifth. He is still on the roller coaster. We have no idea where he's going to end up. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move. Ooh. Here we go, chat. The next question is coming up. Oh, Zero Mile Kyle got that one correct and has actually crested into the negative underneath the negative hundred thousands. Kudos to Zero Mile Kyle. I think an eight is out. Oh, you think he he's he's he jumped out? Yeah, maybe. All right. Next question. Here we go. The word Atari means what? Simple question. When translated to English, what does the word Atari mean? All right, everybody. All right. The answer to this question is, chant, the translation of Atari to English is success. Atari means success. At least that's what they tell me. <laughs> but yes, Atari means success when translated into English. Let's go ahead and see how everybody did on this one. Ooh. Ooh, we call that a leaderboard swinger, chat. That's a leaderboard swinger. The two people that got that correct might move up a little bit. The rest of the people... You held your vote? That's a very smart move, Moonlight. Very smart. This stage in the game... Glad I didn't guess. Would have gotten that wrong. Yep, yep. At this point in time, if you're not sure... You might, uh... You might want to hold your question. Let's see how everybody did. Ooh, Gibsprout got that one correct pretty quickly. Hmm. Invader. Still in the lead, followed by Roasted S'mores, Luna.gov, Moonlight, and Inva Innate Gamer rounding out the top five. Uh-oh. Let's see. Zero Mile Kyle is back in the hundred thousand, the negative hundred thousands. Tequila, you are not in the negative. You are at 11,000 points. You are still in the positive. Gamesis is also still in the positive. All right, here we go. Let's move the visual to the next question. Yep. On my screen, on the total. So uh, there's two questions, Tequila. I think you're looking at what you got on the question, not your grand total. The total scores on the right is actually where you currently stand on the leaderboard. 
Go ahead and move on to the next question. Thinking music, please. In Final Fantasy X, how many lightning bolts did you need to dodge to get a special item? In the Thunder Plains on Final Fantasy X, you had to dodge lightning bolts. How many to get, did you get a special item? You have 10 seconds. Shout out to all you Final Fantasy X fans. All right, everybody. The answer to this question is actually I want to know how many I want to know how many people got this one correct. Tell me in chat how many did you have to dodge in Final Fantasy to get a special item. You didn't like that game? Uh-oh. Invader, correct. 200. You had to dodge 200 lightning bolts to get a special item. You held your vote. Probably smart, Gib Sprout. 200. How many people in chat, put a one in chat, actually succeeded in dodging 200? How many people in chat actually succeeded? There was one time where I got... I got to 190. And then I messed up. I was super pissed. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and show the score. Scottish Cobra got that one real quick. Good job, Scottish Cobra. Invader is still in the lead, followed by Roasted S'mores. Luna is in third place. And 8 Gamer, somehow without... An Did he answer this question? Somehow without answering, has moved up in the leaderboard. Is now in fourth, followed by Moonlight, who's in fifth. I don't know how Innate Gamer did that. But he did it. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Ooh, this one. This one's pretty close to my heart. And I'm wondering how many people are going to get this one correct. Hopefully, it actually shows up on the question how I hope it's supposed to show up. Here comes, chat. The next question. What is the Konami code? What is the button combination known as the Konami code? You have 10 seconds, chat. The Konami cheat code. Here it comes, chat. There it is. The answer to this question is... Oh, let me read this it. The answer to my question is up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. B-A. I think is actually start is the last one. This picture actually didn't have the start button, which I believe... But there you go. I actually also think it was start select. Thank you, internet. But start was the uh, was the uh, the end of the code. Let's see how many people got that right. Ooh, lots of people, lots of different answers. We call that the leaderboard swinger. There it is. All right, the Konami code. That was fun. I always use the Konami code to get infinite lights in Contra because that game was hard as hell. Think you're still safe? I think you are too, Zero Mile Kyle. Let's go ahead and show the answers to this one. Dingus and Zero Mile Kyle actually got that one correct. And Crazy got that one correct. Invader, still in the lead. Followed by Roasted S'mores, Luna, and 8 Gamer. And Dingus has actually moved into the top five. Shout out! The Dingus. He's already been up there anyway, but he's moved back up there. All right, let's go back to let's go to the next question. Here it comes, chat. Thinking music, please. What was the original cheat cartridge created for Nintendo? Flamingo kisses. Thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for dropping by. We're doing Game Show Sunday. The question right now, what is the original cheat cartridge that was created for Nintendo? Big raid from the Flamingo Kisses. Let's give a shout out to... Shout out. Flamingo Kisses. There we go. All right, everybody. The answer to this question is 
Game Genie. Game Genie is the original cheat cartridge created for Nintendo. You would plug it into the game, and then you would shove it into the Nintendo, and it would offer wow. you all sorts of fun cheat codes for whatever game you were playing. What's up, Kiera? Good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping by. Happy Sunday to you. Flamingo, no problem for that shout-out. Welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for that raid. You only know Game Shark. Oh, no. Game Shark came after Game Genie. Game Shark came after Game Genie. All right, here we go. Lots of people got that one correct. There's a lot of old people in chat who got that one correct, including myself. That is a good emote, though, Shyron. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's pretty strong. We call that the Shyron Shake. <laughs> the Shyron Shake. It's not a dance emote. It's the Shyron Shake. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and show the scores. Don't call me how the oldie. Yeah, well. I'm just as old. Here we go. Invader still in the lead. Rosa S'mores hot on his heels, but does do they have enough time to get up there? Luna is now in third place, followed by Innate Gamer. And Dingus, is this Invader's time? Does he finally have within him to win a game show? We're gonna have to find we're gonna have to find out. We've got a couple of questions left. I think there's two questions left. There's still room for him to screw up, and there's still room for you guys to catch up. Here we go. Next question, chat. Let me get the visual ready. There it is. And here it comes. Thinking music, please. What was the first game, video game, to contain cursing, swearing, bad words? What was the first video game to contain cursing in any fashion? Said or otherwise, you have 10 seconds. There it is, the everyone. The answer to this question is Hubert. Hubert actually was the first video game to imply that the main character was cursing. As you can see from the video, from the uh, tr from the uh, visual here, Hubert would actually throw up a a uh, message bubble above his head containing various characters, implying that he is cursing. That he lost or was otherwise struck by uh, something in the game. This is not rigged. I said it. That isn't the guess. It is. It is. It is the first game for people to have implied cursing. Ooh. We've got a half and half on this one. Qbert versus Duke Nukem. Well, you got him. I did get him. This one's an interesting one. I wonder how many people, uh, how much this swings the leaderboard. You almost put Conker's. Conker's curses so much. I love it. You said cursing, not implied. I said cursing of any form, implied or otherwise. All right, let's go ahead and see how the leaderboard goes out. Invader is still in the lead. Rosa Moore is still in second. Dingus is in third. Moonlight is in fourth. And an eight gamer has moved down into fifth place. Not rigged. I thought you made games that make us curse. No, <laughs> no, I would have put Dark Souls on there if that was the case, Sith. Yep, that's where. We're, yep, cursing of any form, any any form, implied or otherwise. Elden Ring, Fortnite, Overwatch, <laughs> Invaders. <laughs> this is now uh, Invaders. Uh, uh, therapy section. <laughs> Instead, in the actual question, about it, well, you've got to you've got to listen to my words, Reaper Man. Candy Crush, nice, yeah, that one. All right, everybody, here it comes. Not the last question, actually, not the last question, but another Metal Gear question. So hopefully, I actually put the correct answer this time. Okay, I did. In Metal Gear Solid 2, what was Raiden's original original cold code name? I can read. What was Raiden's original code name from Metal Gear Solid 2? 
Here it comes, chat. You have five seconds. All right, everybody. The answer to this question is... You probably could have guessed this one, too. Is Snake. Snake was his original code name. Within the first five minutes of the game, they changed his name from Snake to Raiden. His original code name was Snake. All right, let's go ahead and reveal the answer. See how many people got that? Ooh, several people said Jack. Jack is his real name, everybody. Those, so those of you who guessed Jack, Jack is his real name. Not not his code name. I was confused with Jack the Ripper. Yep, Jack the Ripper was from Revengeance. And Jack was his real name. You didn't like Metal Gear Solid 2? That's fair. Everybody is entitled not to like certain games. I loved all the Metal Gear games, so... Though not playing as Snake was always pretty, uh... There's a Jack the Ripper in Metal Gear? Yes. There's a backstory to Raiden, this character right here, who is the main character from Metal Gear Solid 2, and also the main character from Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. He was known as Jack the Ripper at a certain point in his career. Hey, Storm Chappy, thank you so much for that raid! <laughs> Thank you so much for that raid, Chappy. I appreciate you coming by. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Grim Pixie, thank you so much for coming in. CFC Craig, welcome to the stream, my friend. Happy Sunday to each of you. Craig, thank you also for that follow. I appreciate that. You guys caught us at the tail end of our game show Sunday. We've got one question left for the game show. But if you're late and you wanted to participate, don't fret. Thank you for those four bits, Tequila. I appreciate that. Don't fret. We do this game show every other Sunday. So in two weeks, there will be another game show. You guys can come by and participate in that one and have an opportunity to win a prize. But for this question that shows up that showed up on the screen, let's go ahead and see who the um who's in the lead. We've got Invader still in the lead, followed by Roasted S'mores, Moonlight, Innate Gamer, and Dingus rounding out the top five. Matt from Reaper Man. Dingus, <laughs> let me take fifth. Luna is begging for a spot in the top five. Storm Chappie, thank you again for that raid. I appreciate that. And welcome in, Raiders. If you'd like to participate for the last question, uh, you are free to. Just don't say the answer in chat. You just go ahead and there will be an interface that comes up. You just click it or tap it if you're on mobile on what question or on what answer you want to submit. Here it comes, everybody. This is the last question of the night with Raiden in the way for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why he's still on the screen. I, that's me not checking my visual. But we'll go ahead and ask, ask the question. Here it comes, chat. In the Horizon series, what is the name of the AI meant to recreate the world? In the Horizon series, what is the name of the AI that was meant to recreate the world? There he goes. Freaking Raiden, sitting on the screen like that. Horizon is Forza, that's fair. All right, everybody, the answer to this question is Gaia. Gaia was the name of the AI that was that was originally created to recreate the world after Ted Farrow destroyed the world by creating robots that became sentient and used a biomass as fuel, essentially destroying Earth and all of its inhabitants. All right, that was the last question, everybody. Let's go ahead and see how everybody did on it. Did not fool anybody. Congratulations to all of you who got that one correct. So basically Terminator? Yeah, basically. That's basically what happened. By the way, if you guys haven't played the Horizon series, like Zero Dawn or Forbidden West, highly suggest. Very, very good games. All right, everybody. That was the last question. We're going to let the the extension tabulate everybody's scores and see who the winner is. Feed the squirrel. Yes, you may feed the squirrel. Final results. Here it comes. The winner is Invader. Yeah. Yeah. 
Invader has finally won oh, yeah. and has grabbed the title of the Nut House Game Show Champion. Congratulations again. Let's give him another round of applause. There it is. We'll go down the list here. We've got Roast of S'mores in second, Moonlight in third, Dingus in fourth, Innate in fifth, just a couple games is in sixth, Luna down to seventh, Scottish Cobra in eighth, Reaper Man in ninth, and Hal Pal rounding out the top ten. Congratulations to everybody who participated. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Invader, you can go ahead and message me in Discord with your email, and I can ship off your uh, prize for winning the game show thank you so much for coming by thank you everybody who participated thank you for the support run you guys are all amazing uh we do this bi-weekly so there will be another game show in two weeks if you guys missed it if you were late uh do not do not worry we will do this again in two weeks i hope you guys will come back and hang out with us and play another game show in two weeks next sunday for interactive sunday will be a spooky video reaction so we will. So if you guys like that type of content, you can come back for that. Saturday will be the Lego stream, as always for every uh, for every Saturday. Tuesday and Thursday will be gaming streams. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the gaming portion of the stream. I'd like to give a round of applause again for everybody who participated in the game. Thank you for coming. 